Meet you at the Nuffield Club. That's a remark you often hear among servicemen and women in London. To walk through the thickly carpeted reception hall just off Piccadilly Circus is like going into a luxury hotel, except for the prices. Everyone's the guest of a millionaire, Lord Nuffield, whose aim in financing the club is to give a day's entertainment for less than a day's pay. There's everything for those off-duty hours, amusements, relaxation, something to read, a place to meet your friends, your wife, your sister, or somebody else's sister. This sergeant pilot has a very special date and he doesn't want to waste any time. Is it? Yes, it is. She's heard all about the Nuffield Club from other girls at her station. But it's her first visit and she's wondering if Roy has managed to turn up. First, there's the matter of food to be settled. No need to go outside the club for this. In the basement, you can get a West End meal at anything but West End prices. There's no tipping of cloakroom attendants or anything like that. And nothing to pay for service, because you fetch your own food in this cafeteria. expensive restaurant could provide a better meal or more intimate surroundings for all the little things you want to say to somebody you haven't seen for a very long time. Roy suggests going on to the cafe to Parry, the fashionable night spot Pat used to read about where society people spent their evenings and their money. Now the Nuffield Club dances there and the floor charge is sixpence. Before dancing, Pat and Roy want to spruce themselves up. Lord Nuffield has thought of that too. Half an hour in the special department upstairs and they'll come out like new. trousers have got a bit creased, but they'll soon look as if they've come straight out of the quartermaster's stores. This is the moment he's dreamed of. For a few hours, she's left her business like Air Force Blue, and now she looks just like something out of Vogue. The Café de Paris looks just as it did before the war, but then they used to see it only in the fashionable magazines, little thinking that one day they and many like them would be there among the soft lights listening to the music of a famous West End dance band. special request to make. He asks the band leader to play their favourite tune, the melody that means so much to Pat and him. A 
And as they glide between the other happy couples, they dream of the future, of those days when they look back tenderly at the time they used to say, meet you at the Nuffield Club.